What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turnage, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. Um, this particular topic grinds my gears, and I'm gonna try and word my story as carefully as possible. Now, there's a difference, you know, people have their own definition of what's doing well in life to them. If your definition of doing well in life or to do well in life is to have three square meals a day, and keep your lights on, you know, that's you. If your definition of doing well in life is having a ton of money and lots of women, like me, <laughs> then, you know, I'm not here to knock that. But what I can't stand is when people who actually haven't had anything to show forth in life put down people who are actually doing something with themselves or actually have something to show forth with them for themselves for the future or at least for the current moment you know what i'm saying um uh, i was in a certain position in life where my freedom was limited and you know <laughs> i was around people from different backgrounds different ethnicities and different upbringings and i'm not stupid to the world i understand that not everybody can grow up in a privileged home and everybody in there took a liking to me because of the fact that I grew up in a privileged home, I spoke well, I, and I was actually trying to do something with myself. And, you know, um, and I didn't throw my upbringing back in their face. So they took a general, they, 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 they glorified that. And, you know, they knew I just made a simple mistake. So they glorified my upbringing so that made them take a general liking toward me. And it was cool for, you know, the situation that I was in. But, you know, what I can't stand is when people don't have anything to show forth in life or aren't doing anything in life and they put down people that are, you know, in a, you know, like they say, the misery needs company. But, you know, what they say is they're in. It, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give some examples and then I'm gonna get, get into what I'm actually saying. Like I was in this situation and you know I was sitting next to a couple of guys and one of them goes, "Bro, it must be marvelous to live in the suburbs, man. It must be marvelous." But he goes, and, and you know he was glorifying my upbringing, and he turns around and goes, "But you ain't got any street smarts or any common sense." And then the guy next to him goes, yeah, he ain't got any street smarts and any, any common sense, but he lives in the suburbs. And I was like, okay, first off, what the frick is street smarts? Is it knowing how to buy some crack off the street or knowing how to sell some drugs and not get caught? Get the frick out of here. Street smarts only matters if to other niggas and if you're out in the ghetto. And I'm not looking down on people in the ghetto. I'm just saying, you know, that's all it matters to or that's who it matters to. And then he goes, but you ain't got any common sense. And I was like, are you kidding me, bro? Like, I don't have any common sense, but I know not to do the mistakes that you're doing. He even sat there and one time was being stupid. And like he said, like he was like, one guy was like, well, isn't that what put you in jail in the first place? And he was like, yep. So you're going to do the same thing? And he was like, yep. And I was like, but I have enough common sense not to do the mistakes that you're doing. Now, there's a general sense of right and wrong, okay? There's some shades of gray, but we're not going to get into that. And that has nothing to do with your upbringing. And, and I was like, but I know not to do that anyway. So who's got the more common sense here now? And then the other guy, oh, man, he kind of glorified the situation of him saying street smarts and common sense. He goes, you ain't got any street smarts. You ain't got any common sense. And I was like, you know, he was a whole lot older than me. He was like 28 years older than me. And he goes, yeah. And, but he said, you ain't got any street sorts of common sense. And I go, but you can't hold a job. You've been in and out of jail since you were 18. You can't even afford to feed yourself. You didn't even graduate high school. And you have nothing to show forth at the age that you are. I would love to be me instead of you. But, of course, I didn't say any of this because, you know, these were some hotheads and, you know, I, I didn't really want any confrontation at the time. You know, I, I'd rather use my words to break you down and hurt your feelings. But ignorant niggas, if they can't find anything smart to say back, they immediately start fighting. This is very true. 
you know, and you see it all the time on World Star Hip Hop. I'm pretty sure if they sat down and actually talked about a situation, it wouldn't happen. Now, I'm not, anyway, that, that's a whole nother situation. So I was like, but I got enough common sense not to do the crap that you're doing. So who's smarter in this situation? And then, you know, I got another guy that I chill with, you know, only, you know, he is a fuck up in life. He knows he's a fuck up. Everybody around him knows he's a fuck up in life. And, you know, he's intimidated by me, by my upbringing. Because, you know, one time we had a cool little situation. He was like, hey, man, if I had the uh, upbringing that you had, then I would... I wouldn't be in the situation that I that I'm in now. And you know, sometimes you really don't need parents to have a general sense of right and wrong. And if you don't know the general sense of right and wrong, then I can't help you. But he's one of those guys that have jacked up so bad that his insecurities come out in the wrong ways, such as like, you know, when somebody messes up, like they've always said that your misery needs company. But his misery needs company when somebody jacks up and he's not laughing because it's funny he's laughing because his misery needs and in, in, his misery needs company and you know there was a certain situation where you know I'm getting the promotion for my job and at one point I had smoked a lot of weed I don't now because of certain situations I will when this situation is over but um I go yeah bro I gotta take a drug test and immediately he busts out laughing because he thinks I'm about to get fired and I go, well, what's funny? He goes, well, you got to be clean, bro, and you're probably not clean. He was laughing because he didn't think I was clean. And I was like, I know your misery needs company. I know your misery needs company. But I didn't say anything. And what I'm getting at is I can't stand when people who are doing well in life. Or, no, okay, I can't say doing well in life. I can't stand when people who have actually had something to show forth in life are made fun of by the people who are, who haven't done anything or have nothing to show forth in life for the time being. And what they say is to these people, you ain't got any street smarts or you ain't got any common sense. And it's like, but that person has enough common sense to not make the mistakes that you're making. So who is really smarter in the situation? And you know, that's all it is, is to the people that are actually being told this. If you're one of those people that are being told this, Look at where that person is standing in life. And if you're doing, if you got more to show forth in life, in the wise words of Jay-Z, brush your shoulders off because that person knows that they're not going to be shit or probably knows they're not going to be anything in life. And they're intimidated by you doing something in life uh, or doing well in life. And they, their insecurities manifest by trying to find, you know, pseudo reasons to be smarter than you. And that's the best thing that they can come up with, you know, but there are really people out there that generally don't have practical thinking or generally just don't have it practically. And I can name a couple of people and I'm not going to say it, but they're so impractical. It's kind of sad, but you know, they are doing something with themselves. Okay. Maybe like one guy is, never mind. I can't even say two or three. That person is doing something with themselves, but he just lacks practical thinking to like the highest degree but he's cool and he's doing something with himself so we don't put him down we just kind of make fun of the situations that he does you know but he's a good cool guy and uh but if you're one of those people that are being made fun of once again and are doing something with you know trying to make something of yourself and are told that you don't have common sense or street smart dirt your shoulders off because that person is just being insecure and he's finding pseudo reasons to be smarter than you. When really, truly, he's not. Or he or she is not. I can't say just he. But I've just experienced it more from dudes than girls. But I should say he or she knows you're trying to become something. Now, if you aren't... If you have nothing to show forth in life. And are being told by, you know, <laughs> the same demograph. That you're not doing anything in life. Or that you don't have street smarts. First off, get away from them. Because you don't need people bringing you down. And two, they might be right. You might just not have it. And, you know, that's for you to decide. Or, you know, it's only... If it gets to you, then prob it's probably true. Or if it's true, then it... Pro if it gets to you, then it's probably true. 
then and you gotta you know that's for your own that's for your own you know mindset or for your own personal it's it's you know i can't say anything to that but that's you that's all i gotta say and you know all i'm saying is i, I really don't know what to say now i kind of spaced out but if dang i might as well just cut this off now but yeah don't let any it, it, don't let anybody who you consider is not where you are or on your level tell you stupid pseudo crap that you don't have street smarts or common sense because honestly it's bullshit you know and like I said what you defy as doing actually well in life is a whole nother situation like I say if you want to keep three square if in your future all you want to do is keep three square meals on your plate every day that's fine that's for you to decide but don't let anybody like I'm gonna keep reiterating don't let anybody who doesn't have anything to show forth in life tell you stupid crap like that okay because it's not true and chances are it's just pure intimidation and they're too insecure to admit it or they're insecure and that's what they're saying so you know with that being said I'm signing out and this is Sean Turner's with another episode of can't tell me nothing <laughs>